Have you been told to drink chlorophyll recently? Social media is constantly uncovering new trends and fads, with the recent recommendation to turn your water green with chlorophyll. The addition of liquid chlorophyll to your glass of water has claims that range from improved skin to weight loss. To dissect the rumors, we must first understand what it is. So what is chlorophyll? The green pigment that gives plants their color is called chlorophyll. It's in plant cells and uses sunlight to make food from carbon dioxide and water. The byproduct of this process is oxygen. The form of chlorophyll that people on TikTok add to their water is not the naturally occurring form of the molecule. Instead, they use chlorophyllin, a lab-made compound with minor changes to the naturally found compound. Chlorophyllin is available topically, applied directly to the skin, and as a tablet, soft gel, and, as you've likely seen, a liquid. To keep things simple, we will refer to chlorophyllin as chlorophyll throughout this video. Where did the idea of supplementing with chlorophyll come from? The discovery of chlorophyll occurred way back in 1817, but it's unknown when people first began adding the liquid version to their water. In the 1940s, the American Journal of Surgery reported that using a chlorophyll derivative stopped the stench of injured patients in an army hospital. Since then, people have turned to chlorophyll as an anti-odor remedy. However, with the help of advertising, it seems people are now turning to chlorophyll for more than its possible anti-odor capabilities. This became especially clear when people on TikTok posted videos of themselves putting chlorophyll into their water, citing benefits ranging from clear skin to a detoxed body. As the videos grew in popularity, many wondered, are the benefits real? So, what are the claims around chlorophyll water? According to the claims on social media, sipping on green chlorophyll water is supposed to clear your skin, promote weight loss, detox your body, and aid digestion. But is this true? The reality is that research on human studies significantly lacks when it comes to chlorophyll, with the majority of the studies done on animals. The human studies that have been conducted are often very small, and the results could be from other properties, especially when research is done with chlorophyll-rich foods rather than the supplement. Due to inadequate evidence, chlorophyll is not recognized as a proper supplementation to treat any conditions or replace medications. Chlorophyll and your skin. While some individuals may benefit from chlorophyll when it comes to their skin, Research indicates that any improvement comes from using it topically instead of orally. A small 2014 study of 24 Asian participants suggested that using a topical chlorophyllin may help reduce acne and sebum levels, but the results weren't conclusive enough to recommend it as a treatment. If you're experiencing acne, it's best to try proven treatments, such as benzoyl peroxide and topical retinoids, chlorophyll and weight loss. When it comes to chlorophyll and its different forms, there is a lack of scientific research to say whether it does or doesn't aid with weight loss. Since the evidence is limited, it's best to stick with what can promote weight loss, including following a healthy diet and getting in daily physical activity. Chlorophyll and its other claims. In one study performed on mice, researchers found that chlorophyll ingestion had a positive impact on gut microbiota, the bacteria and other microorganisms in your gut, and levels of inflammation in the intestine and liver. In a different study performed on trout, chlorophyll prevented specific molecular pathways involved in liver cancer. It remains unclear what these findings mean for humans, or if they have any impact on our health. Two studies done on humans did suggest that chlorophyll and chlorophyllin may help protect the body from carcinogens. However, there is still not nearly enough data to recommend using these supplements to prevent or treat cancer. Is drinking chlorophyll safe? Commercial products have contained chlorophyll for over 50 years, and there is no evidence to show that it's toxic. Mild side effects may occur if an individual goes over the recommended intake of 100 to 200 milligrams per day. These may include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, bloating, and discolored stools. It's important to remember that the FDA does not regulate supplements. Because of this, it can be hard to know if a manufacturer is accurately reporting their product's ingredients and concentrations. 
If you want to try supplementing with chlorophyll, look for third-party tested supplements. And remember to talk to your healthcare provider to ensure that it will not interact with any medications that you're taking. People who are pregnant or breastfeeding should avoid it altogether since there isn't data on whether it can be harmful to babies or developing babies. Is drinking chlorophyll worth the effort and your money? Since the research on humans is coming up short, it's unlikely you'd see any benefits from adding the pigment to your water. However, if you do want to give this trend a go, stick with the FDA-recommended dosage. One benefit is that it may also help to increase water consumption overall, which does have credible health benefits. If you don't want to shell out a small fortune on supplements, you're in luck, because the best sources of chlorophyll aren't supplements, they're fresh green herbs and vegetables. Some examples of these chlorophyll-rich foods to add to your diet include spinach, collard greens, broccoli, parsley, arugula, green beans, and Chinese cabbage. These vegetables and herbs not only taste good, but also give you additional health-boosting fiber, vitamins, and minerals beyond chlorophyll. With the trend of drinking chlorophyll on the rise, more and more people are adding it to their daily water. Unfortunately, there needs to be a lot more research to prove that it comes with its proclaimed benefit. In the meantime, consider adding more green herbs and vegetables to your diet. If you still plan to hop on the chlorophyll trend train, talk with your healthcare provider first.